Grace, mercy, and peace be yours from God our Father and from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Greetings to you this day as we join together for our daily devotion from St. Matthew's Church in Glendale, California. Today's devotion continues along with a reading from Luke chapter 10, today the 40th verse. But Martha was distracted by all the preparations that needed to be made. How easily are you distracted? When you get up in the morning, you plan to get everything done on your list for that day. Then sometimes you look back later in the day and think, I didn't really get much done. What happened? Maybe you turned on the TV just to check the weather, and instead you found a story on the news that was interesting, and that took up time. Then maybe you went to check your email, or you went to check Facebook, and you ended up spending a lot of time surfing the web. There really is nothing wrong in doing those things, of course, but they can keep you from getting your priorities straight and getting things done distractions are all around us. And sometimes what those distractions keep us from is what's really important. Martha had welcomed Jesus and his disciples into her home, and she felt, understandably, that it was her duty to prepare a tasty meal for her guests. There were so many things to get ready for Jesus and his friends, so many details to her preparation of the meal that she had planned, that the tasks began to worry her very much. Here is Martha. She invited Jesus to be her guest so that she could listen to what he had to say, not so that she could just be busy taking care of all of the details. Yet we are told Martha ended up being distracted. She was troubled and worried about so many things. Those distractions ended up keeping Martha from the very reason she had invited Jesus in in the first place. We can understand this, can't we? We do know and we believe in Jesus' word. Yet what happens? We clutter up our lives with lots of other things, do we not? clutter up our lives with the attractions and the distractions of this world, of truly sometimes worldly things. Evil still knows how to distract us. It continues to put distractions before us to keep us from what is truly important. Evil still knows that all those distractions can pull us away from the love of God. They can draw us away from all of the gifts that God's free and complete love gives to us through our Savior, Jesus Christ. Truly, God will never leave us, but sometimes those distractions can get us to forget his love for us. All these distractions almost keep Jesus out at times, but if we focus on Jesus' word, well, that brings Jesus in. The things of this world may take us in all kinds of different directions. The things of this world may spread us thin. But the Word of God really has only one ultimate direction, salvation. The Word of God points us to our Savior and to the cross to see what Jesus did for us there. Jesus' Word gives us daily direction for our lives. Jesus' word keeps our focus on what is most important in our lives, seeking first his kingdom and righteousness. Let us pray. Lord, give us strength each and every day to keep our focus on you, our salvation. Amen. 